guys, Double Wide Six, and today we're going to be working on uh, trying to free up some piston rings that are locked in place. So here's what good piston ring should look like. Um, they should just be free. Not that this piston's in great shape or anything, but they, they should spin freely. Um, this piston here, it's actually from a Honda engine, and the the rings don't spin. They're they're out of the groove on this side, but in here they're locked in tight. So what we're going to try and do is free these up the safest way possible. So to do this job, we're going to be using purple power degreaser. And I just poured a little bit in here straight. And we're going to take that piston and just soak it. There's a good video already on YouTube that uh, Donnie Boy 74 has on his small engine channel and he heats up the stuck piston rings using a propane torch and he said that that method is good for 50 percent of the time so um, i didn't try a torch or anything i'm just going to try and do it by soaking it and uh, we'll see if this works that way uh, there's no risk of really damaging the, the piston it's a day later here folks and we're going to take a look at this and see what we have. Well, it looks nice and clean. Looks like there's a little bit of uh, oxidation or rust there. Now, the second ring is actually completely free and the top ring is still stuck just trying to move it to see if it'll move and uh, the oil ring appears to be stuck so we'll take a look at these and see if we can loosen them up so I'm gonna take a pick and I'm just gonna try and release this ring if I can Looks like it wants to move. I think it just moved. I may have gotten it there. It's stuck a little bit on this back side yet. I'm going to try and walk this off, see if I can't get it loose. Still a little stuck in here. It's really rusted right on there. I think I have it moving now. Broke it. At least freed it up. So I'm just going to try and heat up this oil ring because half of it's stuck. It's pretty much stuck on this half. And maybe I should have heated up that top ring first. But I'm going to try and heat it up a little bit just using propane, light heat. And I'm going to shock it by dropping it in water. Now that the piston's good and hot, what I'm going to do is just quench it in cold water. And the theory is hopefully that shrinks down that ring that just expanded and will crack any of that uh, carbon on it. So, ooh, looks like it's moving. Here's a look at what we have. You can see the uh, 
oil or ring is moving freely. So uh, it's important to mention that I'm just doing an experiment here. This piston even has a little bit of scoring on it. It's not really usable. But every once in a while uh, I find something, mostly in um, two-stroke machines where the pistons are uh, have the rings kind of seized up in there. And this engine was actually left out in the rain, I believe. And I think that the way to do this, if I was going to do it again, is to actually take the uh, purple power, dip it straight for 24 hours, so don't dilute it, full strength. And then after you have it dipped, see if it'll free up. And then at that point, if it doesn't free up, add a little bit of heat using propane and then quench it in water because it'll go from hot to cold and shrink and, and break any of that carbon loose. So, uh, you know, this was just a little bit of an experiment video. And if I ever run into a situation like this, I think that's how I would attempt to do it next time. If you have a little bit of patience, I think this method could work for you. Down in the comments, let me know if you ever had to free up any piston rings and what you did to do it, if it worked or didn't work. This is just kind of an experiment, and I think I had pretty good results. So, like I said, it just takes a little bit of patience. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good day. Don't forget to comment down below. Take care.